Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are coming here for the first time, I would like to simply encourage you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much indeed for your support so far. We really appreciate it is because of you that this YouTube channel exists. And for those of you that are coming here for the first time, my name is Dr. Brian Maila, a medical doctor by profession, but also specialized in psychiatry. On this channel, we share opportunities that will enable you to pursue various opportunities across the globe. And so you are welcome to peruse through all the videos that we have actually shared on this YouTube channel. Because there is a lot of opportunities in each of those videos which you can actually explore. And these opportunities will actually help you to take advantage of the funding that would actually help you to pursue studies in various parts of the world. Today, I thought of sharing some wonderful opportunities yet again for those of my friends on this channel that may be interested to pursue graduate studies at the master's level in public health related programs. And these opportunities are coming all the way from the United Kingdom. And we are narrowing down to a school called the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So I'll basically be sharing three scholarship opportunities that you guys can actually take advantage of. And these opportunities are open for applications. Some of them up to the month of April, 2023, while others up to the month of March, 2023. So the window of application is still available for you to actually take advantage of these uh, scholarship opportunities. Without further ado, I would like to actually jump right into this by sharing my screen. So here we are. You can actually see that we are on the website of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So on here, you can actually see it says Masters of Science Funding and Scholarship. So we'll skip some of these and just bring you to this table that highlights different opportunities. These opportunities are quite a lot and it'll be important to actually explore much more than what I'm going to share in this particular video. So you can actually see that some of these opportunities deadlines have actually passed, while others have like a short duration before they actually expire. And then some other opportunities may not apply to international students. And so in this video, I will be focusing on three scholarship opportunities. The first being the Lieutenant Colonel Hepatrick Scholarship. And the second one being the London School of Hygiene Tropical Medicine Fund Scholarship and the GSK Scholarship for Future Health Leaders. So to start, I'm going to click on the Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Scholarship just to try and see how much funds are available for this particular scholarship. 
So you can see on our details here that one student ship is actually available for the 2023-2024 academic year. This would time one year student ship will cover two tuition fees for the Master of Science Public Health for eye care at the overseas fee rate. And they will be a 19,500 rich sterling pounds as tax-free stipend, which will cover the living costs, flights, and visa costs, including the international health surcharge. And there will be additional funds, which will be used for the Master of Science project costs. And this will be at a total of 1,500 British sterling pounds. Wow, 1,100 British sterling pounds will be given to the uh, students upon success completion of the course to be used towards attendance at the alumni workshop during the week of the graduation ceremony. And so to be eligible for this particular funding, one needs to have an offer of admission for the program of the Master of Science in Public Health for eye care course which one can actually apply for on this particular link. So when you click here, you will see that it will take us to the, to the program. And then there is the option to apply for this particular program. And then uh, before you apply for this particular program, you may need to make sure that you actually meet the admission uh, requirement or the admission criteria for this particular program. And one of the criteria that you need to pay attention to is the English proficiency requirements. So for this, you will notice that on this particular page, they highlight that the applicant for this funding should be able to show that they have taken steps to meet this requirement such as organizing a date for the test by the time this award is being shortlisted. That is in May 2023. And if you have questions regarding the English proficiency requirements, then you may contact this person that has been uh, highlighted here. Uh, they will be able to address all your questions. And so, again, here they highlight to say applicants who have already completed or a 2023-2024 London-based Master of Science Public Health for Eye Care application for studies or have made an, have been given an offer of admission for the 2023-2024 London-based Master of Science Public Health for, for Eye Care should apply for the scholarship by completing the scholarship application and submitting this by the deadline. Now, in step two, you are basically completing the online scholarship application. And then as you are completing that scholarship application on the drop-down menu, you need to make sure that you select the 2023-2024 Lieutenant Colonel Henry Kirkpatrick Scholarship option. And in addition to that, you need to submit an attachment of what they are calling the 2023-2024 supplemental questions form. So this is what will determine that you are not able to actually pay the fees if you if it were to come from your own funding to actually sustain your taking part in this particular program. And through this particular form, they'll be able to assess your financial uh, status and then they'll be able to actually give you a scholarship and they say this is because that in the first step you have submitted other application requirements like references transcripts the cv as you are applying for for the program and here on they highlight some additional information that the applicant for this particular funding opportunity may want to actually explore before they consider uh, submitting an application for this particular scholarship opportunity. 
you can see here that decisions will be reached and the successful applicants will be notified before 26 May 2023. But the deadline for application for this particular uh, opportunity is in April. That is 16th April 2023. So we now move on to the London School of Hygiene, Tropical Medicine uh, Scholarship Fund and see which programs are actually eligible for this particular uh, scholarship. And so I hope you will be able to follow me closely so that you can see if you actually qualify for this particular funding opportunity. You might find that this may actually have much more programs than the previous one that we have covered because this one was only covering Masters of Science in Public Health for eye care. At this point, I would like to simply remind those who are coming on this YouTube channel for the first time to please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications so that when we share opportunities like this on this YouTube channel, you'll be amongst the first few people to be notified of those opportunities so that you can take time to explore them and then see if they are a perfect fit for you. And so we will now go on to look at the next scholarship opportunity. So on this scholarship opportunity, I'll go straight to award details. So you can actually see that two scholarship funding opportunities are available for the 2023-2024 academic year. And this award is going to comprise of two tuition fees, as well as mandatory field trip fees that are required by the program and a tax-free stipend which will cover living expenses in the amounts of 19,500 sterling pounds. So you can see that this is actually a full scholarship opportunity and eligibility criteria is that one needs to be a national or resident in a low to middle income country as defined by the World Bank. So if you just click on this, you will notice uh, that there's a list of countries that have been listed, those that are eligible to apply for this particular funding opportunity. So if you scroll down, we'll be able to see a list of countries that can actually benefit from this particular funding opportunity. Uh, let's just go back a little bit. Then we click on this particular link. Just give it a little bit of time. All right, in, in any case, you might want to actually click on this particular link at your own time and see if your country is actually listed on these countries that have been described as low to middle income countries. And then one needs to, to have the intention to return to, this, to their own country after completing the Masters of Science program. They need to confirm in writing that they would not otherwise be able to pay for the proposed program of study. They need to meet the minimum English language proficiency requirement as highlighted by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine Admission System. If they need to have an undergraduate degree that is at the same level with that of a UK university, or if they are from overseas, a qualification that has equivalent standard with that of the UK education uh, program. They need to afford an offer of admission for the 2023 2024 for one of the London School of Hygiene Tropical Medicine program of study. 
and these will be like eligible programs that one may need to apply for before they apply for the scholarship fund. And say so in terms of application for this particular scholarship, you first of all want to select an eligible program from the list that is available on this uh, particular list here. Let me just show you the list of programs. So you will see that there's a good range of programs for this particular scholarship, all the way from the Master of Science in Climate Change and Planetary Health, Masters of Science in Clinical Trials by Distance Learning, Master of Science Control of Infectious Diseases, Master of Science in Demograph as well as Health, and Master of Science in Epidemiology, Master of Science in Global Health, Policy, Master of Science in Global Mental Health, Master of Science in Health Data Science, Master of Science in Health in Human Carrier Crisis, and Master of Science in Health Policy, Planning, and Financing, and Master of Science in Immunology of Infectious Diseases, Master of Science in Medical Microbiology, Master of Science in Medical Statistics, Master of Science in Public Health, and there is again the Master of Science in Public Health for Eye Care again appears on this particular uh, scholarship fund. So those are the programs that you may want to explore at your own time. And once you have actually explored those programs, chosen one that is a perfect fit for you, then you apply for it. And once you have done that, then you can actually go to the second step where you now record up on submitting an online scholarship application with the supplementary question form attachment as part of uh, the requirement even as you work on this submission. And then as you actually explore this particular website, you might want to actually look at these application notes here because they actually give additional information that may actually apply to this particular scholarship fund before you go ahead and apply for this particular scholarship. We'll now move on to the last scholarship fund that I had promised to actually talk about in this particular video, the GSK Scholarship for Future Health Leaders. So you can actually see that uh, both the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine Fund Scholarship, as well as the GSK Scholarships for Future Health Leaders are all having a deadline of 1st March 2023. So there is a lot of time for one to actually be able to submit an application for these uh, scholarship funds. So let's go to the G GSK Scholarships for Future Health Leaders. Okay, so here we are. Again, you can see the award details here that this scholarship actually covers tuition fees, including any mandatory field trips that are that may be required during the program, the tax fee stipend that to cover living expenses, which is also valued at 19,500 British sterling pounds. And you can see that there are three scholarships available for the 2023-2024 academic year. You may want to try your luck. Who knows? You might be among us the three that may be picked for this particular scholarship fund. When it comes to eligibility, you will find that this actually is uh, for individuals coming from sub-Saharan Africa. They will intend to return to Sub-Saharan Africa on completion of their program at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, who confirm that they would not otherwise be able to pay for the proposed program of study by submitting the supplementary questions form, who meet the minimum English language requirement, and they have an undergraduate degree that at, is at the same level or equivalent to that of the UK uh, standards. 
Uh, so preference will be given to applicants who demonstrate in their application documentation that they, they have the potential to make a significant contribution public health and all health related research in Africa. So the application steps are again, there are two steps. So uh, just like you've seen in the two previous scholarship fund that I have shared, you will notice that you first of all have to look for the program and actually specifically programs that are being offered by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine that are eligible for this particular scholarship fund. And so you can see a list of uh, programs here, pretty much similar to those that are eligible for the previous scholarship that we have looked at. And so you can actually explore these at your own time and see which one applies or appeals to you. And so going a little bit further, you can actually see that uh, there are application notes here that are specific to the GSK scholarship for future health leaders. So you might want to explore these notes, uh, read and understand them before you consider submitting an application to this particular scholarship fund. And so those are the three opportunities that I thought of sharing with you. And I hope this particular video is going to be beneficial to you and probably maybe to someone who is closer to you or to somebody that you may know. And for that reason, I would like to simply ask you to please like this video so that it can be shared with more people who may need opportunities such as these ones. And that way we'll be able to reach a lot of people and at this point allow me to simply say thank you very much for watching uh, this video and in case you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed to our channel i'd like to simply encourage you to please subscribe to our youtube channel that way we'll be encouraging us to continue creating content and sharing such wonderful opportunities with you at this point let me simply say thank you very much until next time it's bye bye for now